Hello everyone and welcome back to RaceX channel. I'm Dave, a professional mechanic and instructor at RaceX Academy, where we offer online courses on car and motorcycle mechanics for beginners and experts. If you want to learn more about how to fix and maintain your vehicles, check out our website race6d.com and sign up for our courses today. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that some of you may have. Is it okay to change front brake pads only? Brake pads are essential components of your braking system as they create friction with the brake discs to slow down and stop your vehicle. But when they wear out or get damaged, do you need to change them all at the same time or can you change them individually? Well, the answer is, it depends. It depends on the condition of your brake pads, the type of vehicle you have, and the type of driving you do. There are some situations where you can change front brake pads only, and some situations where you should change all four brake pads at once. Let's see what they are. You can change front brake pads only if Your rear brake pads are still in good condition and have enough thickness. You can check this by visually inspecting your rear brake pads or by measuring their thickness with a gauge. The minimum thickness for brake pads varies depending on the type of vehicle and the type of brake pads, but generally speaking, it should be between 2 and 3 millimeters. If your rear brake pads are above this minimum thickness, you can change front brake pads only. Your vehicle does not have an anti-lock braking system, ABS, or an electronic stability control, ESC system these systems rely on sensors that monitor the speed and rotation of each wheel if you change only front brake pads you may create an imbalance in the braking force that can confuse the sensors and cause the systems to malfunction this can compromise your safety and damage your vehicle however if your vehicle does not have these systems you do not have to worry about this issue your front brake pads wear out faster than your rear brake pads this is usually the case for most vehicles, as the front brakes take more stress and pressure than the rear brakes when stopping the vehicle. This means that your front brake pads may need to be replaced more often than your rear brake pads. However, you still have to check your rear brake pads regularly and replace them when they are worn out or damaged. You should change all four brake pads at once if Your rear brake pads are worn out or damaged beyond a certain point. If your rear brake pads are too thin or too damaged, they may not be able to create enough friction and pressure to stop your vehicle effectively. This can increase your stopping distance and reduce your braking power. Also, if your rear brake pads are worn out or damaged unevenly, they may cause noise, vibration, or pulsation on your brake pedal or steering wheel. This can also compromise your safety and damage your vehicle. Your vehicle has an ABS or an ESC system. If your vehicle has these systems, you should change all four brake pads at once to avoid confusing the sensors or causing malfunctions. These systems are designed to improve your safety and stability by preventing wheel lockup or skidding when braking hard or on slippery surfaces. However, if you change only front brake pads, you may create an imbalance in the braking force that can interfere with these systems and make them less effective or even dangerous. Your brake pads are made of different materials or brands. If you change only front brake pads with different materials or brands than the ones you already have, you may create an imbalance in the braking performance and quality that can affect your safety and comfort. For example, if you mix ceramic and semi-metallic brake pads, you may experience different levels of noise, dust, and wear. Also, if you mix different brands of brake pads, you may experience different levels of quality and reliability. So, as you can see, there is no definitive answer to whether you can change front brake pads only or not. It depends on the situation and the factors I mentioned before. However, there are some general tips that can help you decide when to change your brake pads. These tips are Check your brake pads regularly and look for signs of wear or damage. You can do this by visually inspecting your brake pads or by listening for noises or feeling for vibrations when you apply the brakes. You can also check your dashboard warning lights and indicators as they may alert you if your brake pads are low or if there is a problem with your braking system. Follow the manufacturer's recommendations and guidelines. You can find these in your owner's manual or online. 
They will tell you how often you should check and replace your brake pads, and what type of brake pads you should use for your vehicle. Consult a professional mechanic if you are unsure or have any doubts. A professional mechanic can inspect your brake pads and tell you if they need to be replaced or not. They can also advise you on what type of brake pads you should use and how to install them properly. By following these tips, you can ensure that your brake pads are in good condition and that your braking system is working effectively. This will improve your safety and comfort, as well as extend the life of your vehicle. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos on car and motorcycle mechanics. And don't forget to check out RaceXD.com for our online courses on how to fix and maintain your vehicles like a pro. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.